is it valuable to me? Did I learn anything in the last hour? And if do I continue this moving forward or do I go and do my other activities? Mm -hmm. so this weekend, I was watching a variety of YouTube videos, five to 10 minutes long, 20 minutes long. None of them have a template. Mm. They tell you, go check out this hotel or go to that restaurant or do business like this. But they don't, they're just telling you. They're not showing you, giving you a strategy. Mm -hmm. Big, big people. And I feel like just by us showing that, mm -hmm. it's pretty interesting. Yeah. And yeah. saying, like, here's my calendar. Watch me go do it now. Mm -hmm. So get this. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, he just created a new type of log where he films an entire week and then put it out and it was eight hour video wow it shows his entire week wow it's just little meetings here and there and little snippets of his life it's not again i watched you know a quarter of it an hour and a half and i was like there's no value for you and me interesting interesting a yeah. lot of time and yeah. then i years of business this and that and you know they'll write a few things on the whiteboard but then they don't talk about it they mm -hmm. can and they end up talking about themselves interesting yeah. of the time. now if we step in and say this is what we're going to do today then we go out and do it and then yep. at the end say, this is what we're going to do tomorrow mm -hmm. we saw what worked or didn't now we're going to change it Yep. Or have the, have the homework for tomorrow or the assignment or the follow-up or anything. And so, yeah, that's, that's so important. It's like one of the things I learned in my speaking is that you may have heard this before, but I always liked it is, is the tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. But yeah. it's a great format. He's like, here's, I'm going to talk about six things today with gratitude. You know, embrace gratitude it takes as long as it takes, never give up, and so forth. And at the end, and I repair it one more time. So that's why the last thing I'm going to share today is sharing gratitude, and that's so important to share with people. But it gives people, wow, he said what he was going to talk about, he talked about it, and then he recapped it. So when there's just things floating out there, it doesn't make for a very effective video and or communication to people because these are the same people who are looking for that template. Well, show me the template. And one of the things too, like on Zoom, uh, is you can share the screen and do different things like that. And so here's the template that we have. You can download it or whatever you might do. I'm not sure about that. But, but anyway, oh, yeah, totally. any, any of those things, which would be really, really helpful to give people that, again, that roadmap, that direction, and let them fill it in. And then they're looking forward to next week's, you know, um, next week's talk so totally. yeah so when i was down in la because a lot of people didn't have time to physically meet mm -hmm. what i would do is i would do a conference call through skype or zoom mm -hmm. and we would then have i think it was zoom or i can't remember the other program but it was a screen share thing mm -hmm. and so on zoom they would be able to land on my computer and they could look at all of my pitches that I had open on the different tabs on my oh, browser. Wow. And they could look at the pitch deck, they could look at the financial sheet, they could look at the white sheet, and then they could look at the contract. Wow. And decide, boom, send it to me. And, you know, That's next really day cool. we're partners. Mm -hmm. And so I, I did that process in like a five-step thing. It was really easy. 25 minutes, the thing can be start to end. Wow. Phenomenal. And, you know, a lot of people in L.A., they have 20 minutes for a meeting. They don't mm -hmm. have 30 minutes, and they That's definitely true. don't have an hour. That's true. And most people are not fucking driving to where they need to go because mm -hmm. screen share is here. So it's like, let's use it. Yeah. Um, and people are just doing the phone thing like insane. So mm -hmm. what I did is, for me, the ones that didn't have time to meet face-to-face, -face, I would do this because mm -hmm. I felt that that was the value. They right. want to meet Michael. I'm here, I'm mm -hmm. from Bellingham, this is my thing. I gave them that. And I think that was really a good start. Yeah, definitely. Wow, did that's that cool. Months, and that was what I did. Like, it worked really well. So moving forward, you know, you and I could have a conference thing like this, the video, mm -hmm. and then we could switch in screen and just go right into the document. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That, switch back to the video, mm -hmm. and then, you know, one or two, you know, we could be doing yep. that. And, whatever. Yeah. That's great. That's good. Well, talk about economies of scale. That's really good. Man, oh man. So 
another thing I was doing this weekend, which I think is, I've been doing this for a long time, but I go on Google Earth, and you know mm-hmm. how it's got the 3D view where you can see all the buildings and mm-hmm. everything around you? So the Columbia Tower Club, I Googled that, and it sees, you know, you see the tower and all the big high rises around it. Mm-hmm. Well, like this weekend, I went and I Googled every single office in those buildings. Hmm. You're kidding. Now this week, I'm going to call them all. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Because most of them have a corporate office here, but they're also in like Chicago, New York, right. London, wherever. A lot of these big construction companies, they're working in the Philippines and mm-hmm. Europe and all over. Um, and then on YouTube, I'm watching the projects that they're building. Oh, you're kidding. Wow. So they're building the, you know, 55, you know, skyscraper in, in New York. Mm-hmm. That's the new tallest residential and commercial building right and i found the construction company that's building it oh man and then wow. i found the bank that's financing it and i found mm. the bankers that it's all public mm. wow. so that's wow. what i did this weekend is i went on google earth and then i went on google and found who was in the buildings and mm-hmm. then i have a call wow, list. wow. So it's my fantastic. first contacts are going to be gigantic mm-hmm. and I'm exactly. hoping to get you into play. So you and me can come in and do some speaking stuff. Yeah, exactly. Get paid mm-hmm. very well. Exactly. And we just keep moving through these systems. Yeah. No, that's, that's fantastic. And I think I, I told you too, this, this idea about is I've learned the more and more I've done speaking, I've learned how many people want to be speakers or want to be, but how many I'm actually ever, ever done it, ever been paid, that kind of thing. But I've got back, so now I've got, I think, six or eight already booked in the next 30 to 45 days at Rotary's Chambers, Lions, things like this. Getting back to where my basics were, all the connections, so I meet a lot more of the movers and shakers that are paying the money, that are hiring there, that buy the books, that make the recommendations and so forth. But there's another good teaching moment for people that might be listening to you and me is about how I had something that was working quite well, and I kind of got away from it. I thought, well, I don't need that as much. I can just do stuff. I'm not going to do any pro bono stuff. I'll just do stuff I get paid for. Not the best strategy because there's so many other things that practice new material, meet new people, get referrals, get paid gigs, sell books, all these things that just were, wow, I got away from that. So that reminds me of that, of just different ways to contact people and, and, and yeah. use the ones that work. So because that really worked for me in the past. I mean, what I've done since last week is I've started to connect with a lot of the LinkedIn people that have contacted me. Mm-hmm. And I've purposely waited to have those conversations until today and mm-hmm. forward um, because I'm, it's all about this new thing. And so it's, it's getting that visible and really educating people on that and how we can all work together. Right. And so that's been, you know, from today forward, that's the focus point, but I've been using LinkedIn as a great tool. Mm-hmm. I have 6,200 people on there. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of people to go and talk to. Mm-hmm. Um, plus, that one guy that I know knows 500, 1,000, 2,500, 10,000. Yeah, all that. The they know a lot of people. Connections. Yeah, that's a lot of people. They'll show you on those tiers sometimes what it can mean for all those connections. It's, it's mind-boggling. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, you know, it's hundreds of millions of connections for me. Yeah. So, yeah, it's crazy. You know, like I'll call someone now and just be a nice guy and say, hey, this is who I am. This is what I'm up to. I'd love to learn what you're up to. Mm-hmm. And I give them the floor for however long. And then I come in after they have dumped their info. Mm -hmm. I come in after and say, I think you and I might be able to do something together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I pitch them in an example or two. Right. But where I've noticed I lose people is if I pitch people first, I tell them my thing first. Mm -hmm. They always find something like a sign that's like, no, no, no. Right. Always. But then I go, you didn't let me finish. Like, there's so much more, and you're stopping me before I even started the door. Mm-hmm. And so, like, that's why I always let people start now. Which is really smart. You know, there's a, it's kind of the, uh, the opposite of that thing about in negotiations, whoever speaks first loses. 
totally. this kind of thing. In this case, you want the other person to talk first because you want them to get really comfortable and then they know that Michael just listened to everything I'm doing and now they're very receptive and especially if you ask some follow-up questions based on what they just told you, questions that you couldn't ask unless you heard what they just said and will tell me about the ABC project. Well, what makes the ABC project so fantastic for you? Oh, thanks for asking, Michael. The reason is, is because blah, blah, blah. And then when you turn around and now it's up to you, they're going to be a more engaged listener. There's no question. So that's really cool. That's a good point. So, yeah, I mean, by taking those little things and then just doing that on a more consistent basis and, you know, by me starting to reach out to much larger connections just on a daily basis, mm -hmm. we're going to be in front of the biggest people in the world pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so, fantastic. But... You know, the people in L.A., like I start calling New York and London and, you know, all this stuff, it's, it'll be pretty, pretty quick. So Yeah. That's exciting. That's exciting. When I was in LA, I was at 2,500 connections, and then I was about 4,500 when I left. Wow. I made 2,000 while I was there, and I pretty much talked to like at least 1,000 of them. Wow. That's at crazy. At least half. That's it, great. It felt like I'm probably being generous, but it was probably like more like 70, 80%. It was a lot of people. Wow. Wow. Um, there was definitely a lot that I just couldn't get a hold of, but. I talked to it, almost everyone I could. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the time I'd go on Google Earth, like I told you, and I'd go out on the street and just go walk in yeah. and set up a time because I wanted them face to face to meet me. Right. And just to see my presence and mm -hmm. for me to set up a meeting and then I'll come back. Yeah. Yeah. And that was phenomenal. Well, that's why I think there's going to be kind of a resurgence of the face to face of the actual phone call versus mm -hmm. text versus email versus all that kind of thing. And so that's really, really smart. And it may make, it may make a comeback. You never know. I mean, it just, I, I go back and use something as basic and we talk about learning moments or teaching moments for somebody, you know, Michael, David, David, Michael, one o'clock Monday. Perfect. I'll talk to you then. Bye. Click email. How about Monday? Well, that won't work. How about Tuesday? It comes back. No, I can't do next Tuesday. I can do next fall. And you've got seven or eight emails back and forth. And all one phone calls. All we would make it one o'clock Monday. Looking forward to talking to you then. Click. Yeah. You know, not to mention the tone of voice, the, the, the types of things you can kind of exchange, which you don't get in an email or a text. Yeah. So very, very, very cool. Very cool. And that's, and that's with this, this network that I'm trying to install. The, the real concept behind it is so people are talking more mm -hmm. consistently and they're more aware of deals and opportunities to go, ooh, let's connect that guy. Right. Oh, let's connect them. Oh, let's exactly. partner with these guys. Exactly. I'm just, like I'm trying to speed it up so there's mm -hmm. like not a lot of dull time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it, depending on how quick people want to play. Yeah. But this exactly. is where they can make side revenue and they don't have to do shit. Mm -hmm. They sit back and they talk to who they know and boom, you can make money. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, it's going to be, they'll be, it's just really, it's, it's, you hear the word networking and, and uh, referral networks and uh, uh, you know, the, what's, is it the networking events, I guess, when people are handing out their business cards, everybody, you know, it's, it's really about the relationships. The network and handing out a card at a, at, a, at a networking event, oh, Fred Smith, CPA, isn't going to be nearly as strong as David, Michael James, Michael James, David Brooke, nice to meet you. Well, tell me a little bit about Nog. And, oh, great. And then you have that connection, that relationship. So, again, I think some of the old school ways of people connecting are going to make a big comeback. And, and there's another one, just building a relation, letting people actually see you and talk to you in your face and your handshake and your eye contact and all that kind of thing. So it's big. Yeah. Another thing I was going to mention is this summer, I really, I felt like I really invested in my presence in Seattle. Mm -hmm. And I went to a lot of networking groups in Snohomish, Seattle, Olympia. And I was really trying to get this network and my face and name back out there. Right. And I spent, I mean, instead of me maybe going on a vacation, I spent thousands in gas and food and you know getting down to these events that's here um because of the value i know in this month next month and the next couple months of me making those calls and oh yeah i remember you and you know and then this year i'll be going back and doing certain ones as well and it's just that continual top of mind awareness and that right face, you know recognition um and i think that's you know by the energy that you and I, when we walk into a room or we go to an event or they see us on video or, or whatever, 
Mm-hmm. There's a presence there and there's an energy. No question. And we light up a room in comparison to some others. And yeah, I think no question. I mean, the ones that I went to this year, like I usually had a pile of people waiting to talk to me. Mm-hmm. Like, Who's this kid? Who's lighting up over here? Mm-hmm. And it was a really interesting experiment to watch. Yeah, um, no question. I was in a really good mood at a lot of them. I didn't have the need to grind on me and, you know, you're this or that. Or, mm-hmm. I just went in free and it was amazing. Like yeah. people I met and just, I just, I just felt very calm and I didn't like need something or I didn't need a client or I need money or mm-hmm. it just presented very well. And it felt very confident and not like you're selling anything. Well, I think when I do those UR cards, how people describe each other, I got to talk uh, day after tomorrow on Wednesday morning. And of course I'll be doing it uh, uh, Covington Rotary, I think it is, mm-hmm. but how people describe people. And I just love this thing. And people say to me, you're so motivating, you're intense, you know, you're inspiring, you know, and I just love your energy and all those things. And it's not, it's not being cocky. It's just who, who you and I are. It's just yeah. something that we do. And I don't know if, you know, it's letting people, yourself show it. Yeah, and I don't know if it's so much the fact that they have such low energy or we have high energy or, or both, but I'll tell you, there is a gap, and you can see the difference in people that really are very self-aware, want to do things. We have limited time on this earth, and so why we're here is flying by, and why we're here, why don't we want to accomplish things? Well, one of the ways you accomplish things is get energetic and go after something you're passionate about. So it's pretty cool. The You know, like some people have – sat me down and told me why or the energy thing and what they like about it or what it means to them. Mm-hmm. And for some of these people, like they're just for them to like, you know, this is them telling me what they see about me. It gets mm-hmm. them ignited, but they're like, just by us seeing your stuff on Facebook and the mm-hmm. things that you do, you tr- doing the van thing and the business stuff and meetings. And they're like, just that is really motivational. Mm -hmm. they're like when you do your video things or we saw you speak that's like a whole nother right another level they're like that's why we like to hang out with you is because you know you're just yeah we see you visually doing this but you're just on a daily monthly basis you're just on a Mm -hmm. higher perking rate and i think the reason you and i are able to stay there is because we're in this zone Mm -hmm. we are the boss we get to take that and we get to show our happiness or sadness or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I think also part of it goes back to being consistent, you know, and it's one thing to be higher in the kite one day, but then down in the dumps the next. And I think that <laughs> when I was, after I was looking at some of those YouTube things that you mentioned to me, the Grant Cardone's and that Graham Stephan and so forth, I, I Googled a couple or I YouTube, a couple other things and, and how to get more subscribers and things like this. And one of the things they said is, is the number one thing is, is to have good content, you know, which makes sense. You want to have good content. But number two is be consistent. You know, mm-hmm. here I have a video that goes out every Monday morning at four in the morning and it has been for five or six years now. And you can count on it. And that I've missed once or twice when I was sick or something happened. I missed one. I got all sorts of emails. Where's the video? What happened? I'm waiting. I can't find it. It's not in my email, you know, but the consistency and then developing the following so that they have reasons to come and see you and listen to you again. But a lot of that starts with just being inspirational, being motivational and telling people there's an easy way to do it because uh, not easy way to do it, but here's a way to do it. Have that template. To me, it's so easy to be negative. It's easy to say life sucks, sucks. There's nothing but negativity around. There's murders and deaths and destruction every single day. Or you could say, I'm going to rise above this and I'm going to take the high road and I'm going to say, I'm going to make this better. And I'm really going to focus on having, you know, taking and, and, and having a purpose and a passion for what I do. And, and one of the most important things about that purpose and passion is showing other people how to do it. So whether it's inspiring them or motivating them that they too can do it, here's our coming back to our template and our, our uh, game plan. Uh, that's what a lot of people are looking for. So it, it's fun to, to take advantage of the energy that we have. I mean, it really, I'm very spoiled. I'm sure you are too, that I just are sort of born this way. And, and I'm sure you were, and I'm, I'm just grateful for that. The, uh, the last few weeks, um, you know, right around Christmas, you know, cause it slows down for some business stuff right. and people are traveling and kids are off school and it makes a lot of sense, but for someone like me, like I really noticed my energy in, in December this year. Mm. I was I, what I the word that comes to mind was like impatient. Oh, yeah. I, I would get to like Friday and I'd be like, 
damn it. <laughs> no, I want Monday back. Like Exactly. That's funny. Um, just because of the energy through the week, I'm, mm -hmm. I, I build a lot of energy with my staff and clients and, you know, through the week you get everybody jacked and yeah, then on the weekend, that's funny. you disconnect and they go drink and eat terrible food or whatever they do. And it just, it, it slows them down a little bit and it disconnects. And I think, and, I think part of what we can continue to do is show people how to get there. Because yeah. I think about times I've gone to bed. This has been a lot of days in my life where I can't wait to get to sleep because <laughs> I want to get back up tomorrow morning and get going at it again. And I know I can't go straight through the night. I know it's not good for me. I got to get the six or eight hours of sleep, but I just think, dang, I wish it was tomorrow morning already. And that's yeah. what you're saying on the Friday. Where did the week go? And yeah. so, and people can have that and, and we can show them how. I mean, there's, there's no question as long as they understand you follow a script, you follow a template, you follow a game plan, uh, it'll, it'll happen. And, and you too can have that as well because it's just not some, you're so lucky. I mean, I just, that's one of the words I don't care for because you know, yeah. I just don't see that luck is, I can, I believe in good fortune. I think we've all had some good fortune. You and I were born into decent families. We weren't, you know, starved to death or beaten or anything like this, but there's good fortune, but, but luck, I don't know. I think the harder you work, you know, the luckier you get type of thing. So we can show them how to do that. Like if you really think about luck, I don't know. I don't know what luck is. Like mm -hmm. I've seen, I don't think I've seen luck yeah or people use that word a lot though it's funny yeah like i you know people say they're lucky or you're lucky and mm -hmm. the way they use it i i just have an interesting disconnect like i yeah. don't i don't feel like anyone's lucky like i feel like they've put in some time and even if you were born into this rich family as a kid and you don't have to work for it mm -hmm. i don't think that's luck that's just placement yeah. Their life is not lucky because yeah, they might have all this money, but they're like retarded in a lot of ways and not retarded, but they're handicapped in a lot of ways because they don't have the tools. Right. I think yeah, sometimes they might be able to go start a business or do something, but I was just watching a big thing on all the rich Chinese or immigrant Canadians that have moved into the area last five, 10 years, 120,000 billionaires multi-millionaires in wow. Vancouver. Wow. If you look at the, there was a big report on it this weekend. Um, the report showing all of those people that have then started businesses in the area, mm -hmm. they generate less than 30,000 a year. Oh, wow. So domestic income, these rich people do not rely on. Oh, they sorry. rely on all out of, out of China, family out of China money. Wow. So, I would say, yeah, you might be lucky because you got a hand, lucky hand, but in a lot of ways, you're not lucky. And my, right. wow. like all my kids, you know, friends that I grew up with, they grew up in much better, much well off parents than mine. Mm -hmm. They had bikes handed to them, their first vehicles handed to them. Oh, yeah. But those kids are liking my posts and commenting, like, dude, I'm so good for you. Like, that's awesome. Like, exactly. You know, which I could do that. <laughs> Yeah. And I think sometimes it's just yeah. having been the parent of two very now successful young men. I think I proved what a lot of people have proven is if you make them work for it, you know, a lot of the things I did with Connor and Kyle, where we went in 50, 50, you know, mm -hmm. the bike, the car, the house, the whatever it might be is, is I'll do half, you do half and made sure there was ownership there. I, in okay. fact, sometimes I think when you mentioned luck, I think you're right. Uh, I, I think sometimes the only thing I associate with luck is like gambling. That somebody just goes in and puts a, a quarter in a machine and they get a bunch of money. That's just pure luck. That's yeah. you know, skill. And you just do that some yeah. machine for however that's done. But, but yeah, but, this, but then plus two, when you work hard for it, your appreciation levels, I said earlier, is just so much higher. So yeah. that's always good too. So yep. Good stuff. Pretty interesting. Yeah. So that's that's kind of my you know start to the year. I wanted to get through today. I get the paper sent off to her. Yeah, that's good. Good job I on that. Back in my van, and I was just like, that felt like New Year's to me. Oh, like, bad. Oh, so bad. Just like it's, I'm free, baby. Yeah, like, that's good. Congratulations. So good. And good. Uh, you know, like I wish. <laughs> I wish I had somewhere to go scream or yell and share mm -hmm. my true energy. I yeah. really don't have anywhere that I can go do that. So 
I need to go up on top of a mountain and yeah, or just let it all let it rip. But that's that's a big that's a big accomplishment. And just another another road that you went down that uh, at least in the beginning looked like it had something interesting and turned out to be a dead end. So you got to go off and get back to the main road and find other roads. So reevaluate. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so good. A lot of a lot of learned stuff. Oh gosh, a lot of learned stuff. That's so true. But that's great. Okay, yeah. bud. Well, should we? Um, Let's maybe just keep doing this on a weekly basis. Yeah, let's do. Let's and, plan on Mondays at one o'clock, just okay. for right now, and and then for instance, too. I put down just as an example. Uh, I wrote some things down when I knew you and I were going to talk, and I put social media, common courtesy, youth mm -hmm. versus wisdom, multiple careers, uh, starting families later in life, having children, parenting, and leading. Uh, setting this best example. So I just was just different things that can really trigger what mm -hmm. you and I do. And then how we do it as far as Zoom, like I recorded most of this. Um, okay. I forgot to hit the recording button. I was thinking I hit it over here when it said start video, but I had to hit recording. But I recorded about about 40 of the 50 or so minutes. But okay. um, but anyway, um, and then we'll just, we'll massage this and, and figure out how we're going to present it and put it on to uh, uh, our YouTube channel or however we want to do it. And yeah. um, it'll be, uh, it'll be fantastic. Yeah. I think, um, let's see here. I wrote down some topics as well mm. and I had some pretty good stuff. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. I'll look for it here. Um, I just reorganized my Google drive. So it's a little different. Um, oh, okay. But what I'll do is if, is this one filming and recording right now? Do you yes, know? it is. Okay. So what we'll do is if you could upload them to your YouTube mm -hmm. privately, okay. and then I can go in and download it and, and edit it and cut it. Oh, okay. Do some stuff like that. And okay. I can should I edit it. it into YouTube or should I put it into Vimeo? YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Okay. Yep. And then, and then uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Then there's the private setting too. Okay. Upload it yeah. as private and then I'll go in and do the rest. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. My so friend. Yeah, well, I think weekly and then if you're going to any of your speaking engagements, try mm -hmm. and film as much as you can think about. Okay. Uh, you know, like you looking at your schedule, like how you're going to lay out the day, you know, you driving there, getting a coffee, arriving, leaving, whatever little moments like that I think would be interesting just to get in if you feel like that's no, I like that but for me like that's what I'm trying to do so you can do whatever you want but I'm just thinking if you want to try and visualize more of the daily well that um, that video that Scott Burns did for me the speaker reel I mean it just I, I just can't say what a difference it is to have that versus just pictures of me speaking so it's the same thing as David talking to Michael, Michael doing this, setting this up. Here's the three things we're going to talk about. And here's what, here's how this thing looks. And this is what I use right here. I mean, it just, it makes, it's like different camera shots versus just the one camera shot. Yeah. So it, it was, it was really, really cool. So yeah, no, I just put video looking at schedule, small moments, et cetera. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. And we can just use, just have the B roll and use it. It'll be great. Cause I can take a shot that I film four days ago and splice it into this conversation right having right, now. right. i remember talking about it and oh that's perfect <laughs> exactly throw it in there so yeah okay yeah. cool cool beans okay bud yeah thanks for your time and i hope you're, you're welcome better. we'll be in touch in the meantime but we'll do every monday at one o'clock it'll be perfect and this thing's gonna rock and roll you know it sounds good looking see forward you, to it yeah, to sounds good. see you michael bye bye